Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on Cornelius. Cornelius is a mage who specializes on doing fire damage, burn stacks, but can also pivot into a support mage with vulnerable stacks and buffing allies. Unlocking Cornelius isn't too hard. To start, you navigate to the river bridges in Act 1 in the middle and select Accept. You then complete Act 1 as normal and navigate to the red zone. In the red zone, you navigate to the cult temple in the bottom right and then you select combat. You then finish the fight and you will have unlocked Cornelius. Cornelius' passive is Ardent, which at the start of the turn you gain powerful and burn stacks. Please note that that also increases with your perks. His unique item is High Chance of Staff, which increases damage and applies burn stacks at the start of combat to a random monster. When building Cornelius as a support, I like to go for a 37 3 6, 4 build. Once again, you mix and match on the front page, but I like to increase my speed buff. On the physical tab, I like to put an extra stack in Vulnerable, because I will be upgrading my Searing Touches to put Vulnerable stacks on. In the Elemental, I like to put one point into Insulate, so that I can add one extra stack, because I will be running Elemental Wards, and one extra point in Inspire, so that I draw one card at the start of combat. On the mystical page, I put points into regeneration so that my regeneration stacks heal people either side of me. This is because I run a lot of decks that use healing rains and regeneration, like Prayer of Healing upgraded. So I want to make sure I can get some extra healing for the team. When building Cornelius as a damage dealer, I like to go for a 31 3 16 0. Once again, you optimize the front page how you like for shards, health, and resistances. On the physical tab, I like to put one point into vulnerable stacks because I will once again be upgrading my searing touches. On the elemental page, I maximize points in fire damage, burn stacks and powerful. On the powerful bit, I go for maximum stacks go up to 12 just so that I can keep in charge of everything. On the burn stacks, I go for burn plus one to maximize the resistance reduction and damage as a result of burn. Cornelius' starting deck includes one Heat Wave, two Scrolls of Intellect, his unique card Fiery Shield, Inner Combustion, three Searing Touches, four Flares, and two Fireballs. When building Cornelius as a support, my goal is to make sure that I burn down to just three upgraded Searing Touches to put Vulnerable Stacks on, and one upgraded Transmission. So to do that, I buy two Elemental Wards, two Scrolls of Speed, the Transmission, and controversially two rains i like the rains because they are so cheap and they burn and i'm not here to do any fire damage at all i'm here just to help you could go for a curse of exhaustion upgraded instead of the rains but you're spending more shards to do the same effect because curse of exhaustion while useful is just there to burn i remove every single piece of fire damage i can do except for the searing touches so all the fireballs and all the flares go and all of the inner combustions I usually rely on one divination to find one extra card, but in this example I will just add one extra Curse of Exhaustion so that I can remove the final inner fire. When upgrading cards, I only want to upgrade the Curse of Exhaustion here to burn, the two elemental wards so that they burn, all of the Searing Touches so that they apply vulnerable stacks, and the Transmission so that it's permanent. In this case everything burns except for the Searing Touches and the Transmission. When Cornelius reaches level 3, those Searing Touches will essentially cost 0 mana, and so I can keep putting as many vulnerable stacks on the front monster as possible, every single turn. When building Cornelius as a damage dealer, I like to add 2 elemental wards. This is because the Insulate will help minimise the damage I take from burn, because I'll be adding loads of burn stacks to myself. I also grab 2 Ember Storms, and I also grab a Searing Nova. The idea of this build is that I try and maximise the burn stacks on myself and pass them over with Searing Novas and Inner Combustion. I therefore remove two fireballs and three flares. When upgrading cards I upgrade to two elemental wards so that they burn, both the Ember Storms so that they burn, all of my Searing Touches to put on vulnerable stacks as well. I try not to spend too much more than this because I'm already spending quite a lot of shards on this character. When choosing items for Cornelius as a damage dealer, you want to look for anything that maximises your damage or burn stacks. 
in this case the fire book is the ideal card because I'm going to be able to draw more cards but the magic tome is just as good if you can't find it. In this next example the burning orb is also another good weapon to have if you have no other choices. When building Cornelius as a support there aren't that many items that you need but something like a boot of swiftness is useful to have. When building pets as a support something like Chompy is very good because you can buff people and draw more cards. When building Cornelius as a damage dealer, nothing really beats Flamey because you can just deal even more damage and apply even more burn stacks. Running Cornelius in your team gives you access to some really cool early game benefits. To start, in Act 1, he gives you free access to the Suspicious Hatch. Once inside the Suspicious Hatch, there are a few extra things you can do for benefits if you win a few dice rolls. But most importantly, if you navigate to the Imp Altar at the top, you gain access to a free upgrade for everyone on your team, as well as access to some item rewards. You can also bypass Belfour at the end of this section by selecting Hello Old Friend when you reach him. I'm sure there are plenty of other perks for Cornelius, but another perk is if you navigate to the Mosquito Nest at the top of the green zone, you get access to an improved fireball for free. When playing Cornelius as a support, my role is to buff the main damage dealer with as much mana and speed as possible, whilst putting as many vulnerable stacks as possible on the front monster. The goal is that by the end of round 3, you will only have your searing touches and the transmission left. This will mean that you can constantly choose to either put more vulnerable stacks on, or to buff an ally. Later on you may want to pick up a Tome of Intellect or a Librarian, just to make sure that you can extend your support capabilities. When playing Cornelius as a damage dealer, your goal is to put as many stacks of burn on yourself as possible. The idea is that you use Inner Fire and Searing Blast to then pass all those burn stacks onto the enemy. You need to make sure that you do not run any rains or healing rains on your team so that you don't dispel all those burn stacks. It is very likely that you will take lots of damage, so you must use your elemental ward on yourself to minimise the fire damage you take from burn but he can do a lot of damage to a lot of people very, very quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video from Across the Obelisk. Please stay tuned for more content. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.